Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin Wa salatu wa salamu Ala ashrafil anbiya'i wa mursalin Wa ala alihi wa sabi Ismail wa ba'ad Honorable uh, Senator Marcos and Honorable Senator Caetano And also my Respect to uh, My uncle Sultan Ismail Kiram uh, Represented by my uncle Ubal Kiram And also my uncle Uh, Ibrahim Kiram Bajin, Ibrahim Bajin, yes uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala I am the Tuhil John Kiram The brother of His Majesty Sultan Muizul Lail Kiram The 35th the legitimate Sultan of Sulu The son of the late Sultan Mahakutta Kiram officially recognized by the state to the memorandum order of the late president Marcos and the the son also of the late Sultan Ismail Kiram who is the one ceded the sovereign rights of the North Borneo to the Philippine government. Office of the Sultan Darul Jambangan Tupaksu Communique of the Sultan of Sulu on the proposed Bangsamoro entity 25th of May 2015 Astana Darul Jambangan Lupaksu The Royal Sultanate of Sulu Archipelago upon invitation of Philippine government on March of 2014 appeared on the signing of the Comprehensive Agrarian on the Bangsamoro or the Cup. What is significant of Sulu Sultanate presence was that the constituent population and dominion of the Sulu Sultanate are part of what were defined and mentioned in the language of the agreement. Our people has signed so many agreements in the past and up to these years. Mindanao leaders continue asserting their political status in the negotiation for the right to self-determination until such negotiation and agreements have become a le living legacy living legacy of peoples. Political resilience, but on the contrary, a defeat born out of protracted confrontation with ever-changing masters. The most depressing fact is None of these agreements have changed the life of our people for better. All this ended as fractured peace agreement that permits endless negotiations to make another peace agreement that is now the Bangsamoro Basic Law. Essentially, all signed peace agreements are made of the marketed political square on how our people should govern themselves how they should exploit their ancestral resources and uncertain regulated economic policies, and how they induct peaceful coexistence with government and non-Mindanawans at their very homeland that is the long run will weaken their assertion of their political and human rights under the modern peace facilitator called the conflict transformation. Let the Senate of the Congress of the Philippines know that I, the 35th legitimate Sultan of Sulu Archipelago, is expressing my highest aversion on how the peace process is being inducted upon our people and our dominion, and how the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, MILF, ventured with government of the Philippines the crafting of the basic law without respect of the historical prerogatives. Let the Senate and the Congress of the Philippines know that Bangsasu, the people of Sulu, is not a tribe but a sovereign nation. We do not fit ourselves to be named Bangsamoro. Let the Senate and the Congress of the Philippines know that population in the island provinces of Sulu, Basilan, Tawi-Tawi, are not happy and not hopeful of the BBL. 
as adversely proclaimed by the government and the MILF instrumentalities. My presence today in this said significant hearing should provide better understanding and redirection of Senate outlook in order for them to arrive at appropriate political solution for Mindanao and its people. What we unveil today are facts long denied, deep conspiracies of those who oppose peace and prosperity of this nation and those hypocrites Filipino historians who deny historical, historical truth. Let it be sensible to our knowledge that they are not only the people of Sulu, Basilan, Tawi-Tawi, who should be involved in decision and consensus, consensus building. We have a population in the North Borneo, close to one million people. 80% of those are Tausu, and there has been no government regard over them. Whereas the Sulu Sultanate is contemplating on the vertical resolution of the question over the Sabah archipelago, and in the midst of this temporal solution to peace, I, the 35th Sultan of Sulu, recommend the following. First, the Philippine Congress to extend their time frame to complete the consultation process at the distance from the dictate of the comprehensive agreement. Let our people in the North Borneo be given their constitutional rights and prerogative of democratic consultation and information. Second, let there be no transition after the enactment of this law if BBL is indeed established for the people and democratically, not for the interest and power of the few. Yes. Let there be a page for the recognition of the Sulu Sultanate in the language and provision of the basic law. If and when the government, despite the aid of its Congress and the Supreme Court is constrained to establish meaningful autonomy due to extreme ethnic divergence between the people of the mainland Mindanao and the island provinces, let there be two autonomous, autonomous entities, one for mainland Mindanao and the other for the island provinces of Sulu, Basilan, and Tawi-Tawi. On this occasion, therefore, I and my people wish to congratulate your Honorable Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. and the Noble House of the Philippine Senate for having a decisive political character by way of giving significance to our words and presence before this Senate hearing. Our kingdom cannot help venerate the good side of the legacy of the late President Ferdinand Marcos May his soul rest in peace. That he became one of those enriching the history of our people and homeland. Finally, the Sulu Sultanate expressed its deepest gratitude to the Malaysian government for brokering the peace process and providing humanity and home to our people residing in Sabah, Malaysia. Wa billahi taufiq wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh for the noble people of the Sultanate of Sulu and North Borneo, His Majesty Sultan Mu'ejul Laifira, 35th Sultan of Sulu Archipelago. And we still have to add some statement that with regards to Wali, per observation regarding the Wali, the provision then is, I think we might be unconstitutional pag sinama yan. It's because the provision, the previous president and its constitution officially recognizes titular head and the Sultanate of Sulu and doon sa constitution na yun. But, during the presidency of Makapagal, just, uh, just that yung Makapagal, our grandfather, the late Sultan Ismail Kiram, was recognized as the Sultan of Sulu and even he ceded the sovereign right of the North Borneo to Makapagal and na-inherit po yun ni Pangulong Ferdinand E. Marcos. So, after the death of 
months after the death of, of Sultan Ismail Khiram, his son, our father, the late Sultan Mahakut Takiram, what was officially recognized by the Philippine government through Memorandum Order 427 by the President, President Marcos, Ferdinand E. Marcos. So that was the last recognized Sultan, official. Maraming rin na recognized, but it could not be officially. It's because pagpasok ng 1987, nawala na po. Nawala na po yung pagtanaw ng utang na loob ng Philippine government sa Sulu Archipelago o Sulu Sultanate. <laughs> Our history could not be started, basahin. If we will not start with the Sultanato ng Sulu, Sulu government. Bakit inalis ang recognition? Only the Philippine government hindi nagre-recognize sa monarchy. I don't know. Even the history of the world history should, could not be started without mentioning the ancient civilization. Ganun din po ang sitwasyon ng Sultanato ng Sulu. During, during the, uh, uh, us and uh, civil society organization, during the, the, the focus group discussion at the Notre Dame Apollo College, I attended as a civil society, not as the, the brother of the Sultan, but as a civil society, came in from different organization. Ano ang sabi namin? Ano ang wali? Ang sabi po ng, ng sa, sa tao sa BBL, mayroon din kaming Sultan. Di na natin pag-usapan yan. Bakit di natin pag-usapan yun? So talagang inaalis yung sulu. Inaalis nila. So bakit ganun? So sinabi namin baka hindi kayo makakarating sa paroroonan nyo. Kung hindi nyo, tatanawin din ang utang na lot. Ah, ah, kikilala rin kung anong ba, saan tayo nang galing. Bakit nagkaroon ng, ng uh, claims tayo, tayo lahat sa Mindanao? It's because we are independent long ago. 13th century, 14th century. Pero may narinig ako is because ang gusto nila ipapasok ang 16th century. Pag 16th century, kasama na agad ang mainland Mindanao. Kaya, at saka may nagsasabi sa amin, pasahin niyo yan para matuto ay bakit hindi naman yan ang gusto namin, ayaw namin yan. Kung pwede, sa inyo na, pumunta kayo sa Mindanao, sa inyo na lang, nandito kami si Sulu Archipelago, kanya-kanya na lang tayo. Wa billahi wa taufiq wa salam alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.